Hello, and welcome to Hexen 2, uh, part 6, this is. My very hard playthrough of Hexen 2, yes. Uh, last time, we actually managed to get all the way through Hub 4, I think it is? The uh, Rome XB. I think it was called like Septimus or something like that. Um, the puzzles in that weren't actually that difficult. Um, they'll mostly just find the objects and stick them on the plinths. So... I did have to search around a bit for one of them. It was because I'd forgotten about a puzzle which I was going to come back to. Then I had to figure out how to solve the puzzle. Turned out there was a plaque right next to the entrance of that area which told me exactly what I needed to do. So, oh well, that saved me from having to try like 16 different combinations. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, we're actually on the last hub of the game. The Hub 5, which takes place back in, uh, I think it's called Black Marsh, which is where the first hub uh, was. So it's sort of gone full circle, though I don't think it reuses levels. It's just the same area, uh, story-wise. And yeah, I don't know. It seems that it would be about the same length as the other hubs. Which is good. I was ex half expecting the last hub of the game to be like half the size. Um, but it seems like maybe it is about the same length. We'll actually see whether I'll be able to finish it in the uh, two hours I usually give for a heretic stream or whether we'll finish it early. Or maybe it will take longer than two hours. We'll see. So we go down here. We're in Cathedral. There we go. I did do a little bit, from what I remember. Uh, cleared out some enemies. Maybe? Or, no, I think I saved and then... There we go. Anyway. Curse Eidolon, for all that I have done has been for naught. Even now I hear the dreadful stomp of Eidolon's golems spelling my doom. Eidolon is the big bad in this. I don't really know much more else about him other than... He's a big bad and apparently he had the four horsemen of the apocalypse working for him, which we have beaten over the last four hubs. Eidolon's, uh, the Chaos Sphere, Eidolon's power source, that's different from the Staff of Chaos, has resurrected the Dark Generals who have already reclaimed what was taken from them. Alas, I have no warning of what lies ahead, for I can see only my death. As I ready my weapons for one final assault, I pray that my death was not in vain. Someone must destroy Eidolon, Tyranith. Yes, I don't know who Tyranith is. He's just the person who's been preceding us and writing these, sticking these sheets up on the wall for us to read every now and then. Ooh. You're weird. Are you an enemy? Yes, of course you are. Ow. Um. Your what? Ow! Well, that's just rude. Um. Hmm. Decimated by Fallen Angel Lord. Okay, um, I gotta try and leave that alone for the moment. I have no idea how to hurt them. Oh, that was a good shot. Just wiped out two spiders with- No! Oh! Little sod was waiting for me to come around the corner before firing his laser. Okay, there we go. There's a portal there, this door. Oh, that's a loading portal? Okay, where's this? To the cathedral. Right. Oh, hello. It's a war Rorschach. War Rorschach? Horror Shack, that's it. Thank you. Ow. I think there's another one behind another one of those. Yep. And you. Okay, cool. Is there another one? I thought I heard. Nope, okay. Hmm. 
Well, this is another area. So let's go back to the previous area. Where's that? Tower of the Dark Mage. Okay. So let's go this way. We'll just work through the areas one by one so that I don't get overwhelmed by things to do. As much. Ow. More spiders. I kind of wish they'd lay up on the spider enemies. There's so many of them in the last area. And they're kind of... I don't know. You want to find enemies which are a bit more interesting than spiders. Here we go. Hmm. Crates. Uh, there's a crate, there's a barrel there, half stuck in the wall. I was taking a barrel with me. Okay, well what's in the crates? Anything? Nope. Can I push them? Nope. Can I lift them? Nope. Come on. <sighs> Disappointing. This doesn't say anything. What's that got written on it? Does it say salt? Salt. It's a crate full of salt. If you wonder why I keep... Oh, hello. Yeah, what? This one's not invisible, or uh, ghost-like, like the other one was. Okay, well, that was easier than the last one. The last one was like see-through, and I believe my abilities were going through it. Uh. Uh -oh. There we go. Hey, skull. Aww. I wanted to lift it. Ah. Well, the level design in this game has been pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as Hexen and Heretic. I don't know whether that's just my a preference for the uh, Doom style levels over the Quake style levels. I have seen good levels in Quake, uh, and the uh, or maybe I was also spoiled by the Arcane Dimensions, which had very good levels. Is that a button? Oh, it is. Oh. Is there going to be, like, hydras down here? Yes. Kill it! They deal so much damage in melee. Uh. There. I do have a wing of, ring of water breathing. You would see it appear just then. It's not like I swim that often, so it's basically full. Uh, what's through here? Okay. Someone's bedroom. What happens if the squid- what happens if the Hydra squid just happens to swim through the portal? Does it end up flopping around on the floor in the bedroom? <laughs> they have desecrated this holy place. For that, I will never forgive them. Eidolon must be behind this. Only his foulness could penetrate this far into our realm. He will pay. I don't think he ended up doing so. But he will. I'll break your windows. You what about your carpet? Nope. What about your bed? Nope. Your pillow? You're going to find like a silver, silver dagger behind your pillow? You got a turret. Well, 
But we can go down there. You see a font of holy water before you. Oh, that's holy water. Okay, remember that. Uh, water in a bed room is holy water. It sounds like I'll need to come back here and get a flask of it. And looking at my notes, I actually didn't write any notes at all for Hub 4. That was how simple it was for me to figure it out. I saw that and I was like, is it a pressure plate? Hmm. Oh, we're back here. Okay. A roundabout way. Septimus, eh? Uh, Septimus was the last, uh, was the previous hub. This is the last hub. We had returned to Black Marsh, I believe. We managed to finish hub four in a single uh, stream. Ugh. That didn't actually hurt me, I don't think. Oh no, someone fell down here and died. Maybe they just tossed the bones down here to get rid of them. Uh, oh, we're back down here. Okay. Right, right. Yes, it wasn't actually that um, difficult, as I was saying. The puzzles were rather straightforward, except for one involving the elements. Which I had to spend some time figuring out until I realised the solution to it was on a plaque right near the entrance, so. Serves me right for not paying attention. Uh, I keep using the symbol of Despero. It's that symbol there. Though I kind of... Is Despero symbol upside down? Anyway, maybe they just like it and they keep using it. Oh, yeah, you. You like knock my thing. Attack. Uh, Ow! Tax back. Rude. And you're uh, a ghost. I, I don't think I can deal with you. Maybe I need like holy water or something to be able to splash it on it and make it physical. Yeah, oh, it's a wizard. Where are you? Damn it! Ah! Oh, kind of hate these wizards. They're so finicky. Maybe you can see my hand is drawn back. No. Ugh. Okay, pull out the crossbow. Now he tosses you across the room. Damn it. Still, damn it! I'm having to listen to see which direction they appear from. There we go. Oh, oh we actually do have a remix of Heretic music here again. Another good track from Heretic. I forget which one it was from. Maybe Watchtower or something. Kind of checking to see whether there's anything behind them. Oh, we've got all the terms of power. <laughs> Possibly. I always kind of like the idea that, uh, 
the sparrow just came up with the symbol himself. No, I don't know if it's if it means anything outside of the concept con outside of the context of the game. Oh, oh I was pushing the bench. Is that a candle? Oh, oh. Does that book say anything? No. What about this one? No. I can't read it. I am illiterate. Or it doesn't have pictures. Okay. Well. What was the point of this? Look up. I was going to say, do I have to stack stuff? But then the bench explodes, so... Yes. There goes that idea. I really doubt you're supposed to do this. No, no. no. Uh, anything else out of the ordinary? When in doubt, destroy more bookcases. There we go. And this. I destroy the support beams. <laughs> no. Okay. It's novel. <laughs> I like destroying the environment. Uh, oh, there's something. No. Oh. That's not something. Hmm. Okay. Well, there is down there actually. Hello. Oh. And a green mana. Uh oh. <sighs> Not worth it. There we go. Trying to conserve. <laughs> Try. I don't know. Trying to conserve my items. There's stuff up there. At least you could destroy stuff. It seems many games make things out of Unbreakium. I do appreciate uh, some destructible environs. It's like a, a little diversion. Oh, you're down there. Sick of fighting for the moment? Here, break some barrels. Gonna break? Nope. Mm. Uh. No, there's nothing there. Is it going to have to be like, find the one torch which you can spin moment? Oh, down here. Both of them. Did I? No. Now I did. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Spiders. Get out of here. Little skittery buggers are hard to hit. I like using the grenades because you use less grenades to defeat them than you do if you use the crossbow, but 
Because each shot of the grenade in a crossbow takes the same amount of mana. I can't destroy those books. All those ones. Okay. Doesn't say anything. Nope. Ugh. What's this? Nothing. Okay, it's just disgusting water. It's a very inefficient torch. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay. Well, that was another room with not much in it. Hmm. Am I missing something there? Let me just do another check. Is that like a button here or something? Oh, that actually says something. Excuse me, I'd like to read it again. Please. Two golden lions are all that stand between you and the Dark Mage. <laughs> okay. Simple. <clears throat> Maybe this one's supposed to be a trap. Like, haha, I knew that you would instantly break that. We've just got to fill this area full of spiders. Or not. Need to get squished by an elevator. Are you the Dark Mage? Hey, you've got like a mad scientist get up in here. Stop that! Even when I'm invisible, they can still see where I am. Here we go. Firebomb the whole place with powered grenades. I... <laughs> it's tempting. Oh, it's tempting. But I believe when they teleport out, they're just gone. I can't actually hurt them when they do that. Sheet music. Is this going to be another notes? No. Oh, I can play the moonlight tonight. If only I could play the piano. Oh, you need to do that. Let's not stand in front of it. Maybe you don't need to do that. Well, we destroyed a nice chair. This door is jammed shut. Yeah, it is. Like a giant block in front of it. Okay, fine. I think we can't do anything here. We might have to get another one of these ball things and stick it there or something. I don't know. I don't know how I'll be up. Carry that. Thanks, game. I need to run for two minutes on a wool carpet to charge up the power. 
my powers of static electricity <laughs> shall be immense. Hmm. Okay, we'll go back through here. Where did this go? Oh! Hello! <laughs> uh. Oh, they're chucking! They're actually firing through it! At me. Okay. Uh, let me try something. As funny as this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is everything dead in there? Well, we cleared out all the table, all the uh, pews. We did a good job. Should have thrown them maybe at more, at more angled, but that actually worked pretty well. <laughs> uh, I like it when the pulls. <laughs> the old had been desecrated. Only just now. Bloody spiders! Not by all the grenades I was chucking around. Okay. Just got like a Celtic knot on it. Or is that saying it has been desecrated and I have to repurify it or something? Possibly that. Uh, is there anything else here? No. Okay. Alright, oh, that's a portal. It's... Okay. And can I like hold it in my mouth and then spit it out onto the thing? No, I need a bottle. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can run past that uh thing up here. Whoop whoop whoop! Excuse me, coming through. Oh, there's an organ. The music is beautiful, is it? The Sparrow's even got his own organs. Come on, play it again, Sam. No? Okay. No room to stand up. Oh, hello. Ow! Oh, we can hurt you? Maybe not. Yeah, apparently we could hurt you. Okay, fine. Just take a truckload of damage. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a bell. Ow. Thank you. Whew. 
There we go. Oh. Damn it. Oh. I got horse hacked. <laughs> uh. I get the feeling they just made the character that name and it's a big in joke. Come on. There we go. Okay. Is there anyone else down there? Oh. Aww. Oh, you're down here. Oh, I'm using up all my healing potions. Are you in shadows there? Oh, there you are. How'd you get over there? We actually have over 200 mana now. That's pretty cool. Oh, you went through that way? Okay. Bong! Look at that low, like, low frame animation. Uh... Okay. I think we got everyone. Oof. I found Tyrannus' body. Okay. It must have been that one which I destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I hope there wasn't anything important to read. Oh. Defiled Holy Relic. Okay, so what? We have to stick this in the uh, pool? You have restored the blessing. The Holy Cross. Now we go stick it on the altar. Hey! Neato. Went through a portal. Hmm. <laughs> it's just like, nah, forget this. I'm leaving. I've heard about you. You just chuck grenades at everything. There we go. I don't want him wandering around up there. Behind me. Hmm. Can I jump up there? Nope. Okay. The underhauls. Oh, that's actually an interesting thing I just uh, realised. In the first hub, these doors would actually swing open and you'd go through them into a little black area, but at the moment now it's just you press up against them. I wonder why they stopped that. Hmm. Hey, a crater. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm hmm this don't look like no trap at all. Bleh. Squish. Ugh. 
No, I got squished. Oh, <laughs> I'm falling through the level. Uh, we know what happens when you fall to the bottom of the level then, uh, to the bottom of the uh, area then. You just teleport up to the top and fall all the way back down again. <laughs> okay. So how do you do this? Nope. Boot to speed. Nope. I don't think I can jump up on top of it. And there's not like one which is free, so yeah, let's just leave it. To the cathedral. Oh. There we go. Hey, going. Now this area looks neat. This is a nice little bit of uh, 3D modeling. You have the bridge there, a little arc there, stairs leading down this little stairway leading up. And you have this lip around the uh, sewer area and the grating and the skylight over there. That's nice. All that throwing's really paid off. My throwing arm is immense. Ugh. I'll be able to. I don't know. Ball someone out. I'm trying to think of appropriate, of appropriate jokes. Other than like baseball. Oh. Well, the unit, the enemy variety in this level is a bit better than the last one. Hey, they're doing that again. That was appreciated last time. I like that, that teleporting the view to show what that switch actually did. Very nice of them. sewers. I mean, these aren't too bad. The uh, rust-coloured columns and the grey rocks is at least more interesting than the sort of slime-covered rocks and whatever else. something go on that pillar I need the mages too okay sneaky 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 critical backstab For all the good it did try that again Can I hide once he's... <laughs> no, of course not. What do you think this is? Thief? <sighs> hide in shadows. <laughs> and backstab. Uh, I'd like to see the developers try and do what they wanted to do. Be done. Whether they can achieve... 
what they expect the player to be able to. <laughs> Is he following me? I don't know. I'm hiding. He can just see where I am. Ah, forget this. Ah. Hey, a ring of regeneration. Okay. Oh, that's that room. But I didn't go in there. Why is it activated? Oh well, there was nothing in there. There was a button at the end of it, but it didn't do anything. Maybe it was just all a red herring. Just like, oh, look at this thing at the end here. It doesn't actually do anything. Actually, now these... Now these sewer tunnels like this are giving me flashbacks of, uh... Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight and the, uh, massive, like, refueling tunnels you have to go through in Nar Shaddaa. <laughs> Is it Nar Shaddaa? <sighs> and you have all those, uh, three-eyed aliens chucking thermal detonators at you. And your shots bounce off all the walls. The bars have opened on the second floor of the Mage's Tower. Okay. Through the Tower of the Dark Mage. I suppose that and the Mage's Tower are the same place. Come on. Ugh. Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out. Don't know why this game is so finicky with trying to let me out of water. Ah! I mean, I've done it before, no problem. Sometimes it's just like, nah. It's like you have to get momentum, but sometimes you barely have any momentum and you just launch yourself out of the water. I don't know if you actually have to press uh, space at all. I keep pressing space to jump out. Oh no, someone left their arm. Okay. Ring of Regeneration is running low. Well, great. Hmm. And this is just back down where we came from. Yep, that's where the other place I was trying to get out of. There's a massive pit of lava down there for some reason. This is over here. Oh. Okay. Uh, how do we get out of here? 
It was this way, was it not? Yeah. To the cathedral. Okay. So, after all that, let's go back to the mage's tower. Because it said something had changed there. Uh, where was that? That was this way, wasn't it? Nope. I was wrong. leads into the sewers again. Hmm. Yeah, that's into the bedroom. Ah, oh, where was that major tower area? Was it here? Yep. That was right there in front of me. Okay. Right, so what changed over here? Nothing there. Um. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so nothing in this area. How did I get to... That area with the lightning ball things. Oh, that was over here. Hey, that's open. Stop that. I don't want to push you off the edge. <laughs> uh. Goodbye. Now don't hit hear it hit the bottom. It's very deep. Okay wheel here. Is there something? Hey! Okay, fine. That was actually kind of silly, that. Uh, having to, like, poke it to be able to turn it. There should have been a button next to it. Like there was on this side. You got spiders in your vents. Flask. These are not exploding barrels. That's an exploding barrel. I noticed the symbol when I started to hit it a second time. By then, it was too late.
Hey! Look at all this gold! What does it mean? Yeah. A crater of might. A wizard sippy cup. Hey! A gold sphere! this thing. Apparently it was a metal crate which I could destroy. Right. So we have a golden sphere. Yeah. Insert Duke Nukem reference here. Um. Now where? What do we do with the golden sphere? Oh! Is it that simple? Did it do anything? Uh. Is there any notes here saying what this is all supposed to be? Oh, my research shows gold to be the best conductor. Wonderful, okay. Oh, and the portal's working now. A light didn't appear on it, but... Oh, you are the one. I thought there was a trap shooting beams at me. Ow! Oof. What level are we? What level 11! Hey! I kind of understand the idea of this game. But, uh, well, of uh, what's it called? Having the hubs set in different areas, but at the same time, I kind of feel like the game might have been better if it had done like just all the hubs in this type of environment. Just like, I don't know, the four corners of the city are each owned by a different... Uh, what's it called? Owned by a different uh, horseman of the apocalypse. Because I think these environments are... Kind of the strongest point of the game? The Egyptian one was cool. The main Katek one was interesting. The uh, Roman one... Meh. It was alright. It's kind of generic. I think maybe it was the weakest one out of all of them. Uh, mostly just because it was all like the same marble hallways, except for the baths there, baths area. Hey, the mage is too. So is he building this teleporter just to go to that room to get his tome? Okay. 
I like that the wings, that the ring of flight actually respawns. That's nice. Right, so I have the wizard's tome. That means I need to... I need to go back down into the sewers, I think. To uh, place it down there somewhere. So to do that, I have to go this way. At least, this is the way I remember to go to get there. There's probably a shortcut, but... Nope. Well, wait, what was that? Wait, this is the right way, isn't it? Yes. And... Turned that. Turned that. Go. Lava room. <sighs> Look at how fast you go! Holy crap! Quake engine, how do you work? You're just like skadoodling left and right really quickly. Conk. It's open now. I suppose it has. Did this open? No. That no. And that, okay, fine. Right, well, the door's open now. This level's pretty good so far, though a number of the uh, puzzles are lacking in, uh, like, oh, did what I do did something? Which, the last level was really good on. Every time I pulled a button or pressed a switch, uh, press the button or pu pull the switch. Uh, the game actually took my camera and showed me what it did. Uh, this level has done that, but sticking things on other things, it's not really showing me like, oh, that did something. Like the portal to my top, as I was expecting. Only those who pass the ordeal shall gain an audi audience with Eidolon. Eidolon controls the Chaos Sphere, and with it, the power of life and death. Okay. The power of freaking spiders, apparently. Nehehe. <laughs> oh yeah! Trust it, yep. Ding? I mean, that's actually something. I'm kind of surprised the enemies in this aren't more... Quake-like? Like, they're not as, like, dark gothic fantasy as you'd expect them to be. Oh, got you. Like, have we fought zombies even? The zombies at Quake, I think, would be a shoe in for this. They'd be pretty fun too with the grenades. Might have moved that 
So I can jump over there. Yep. Can I jump across these other things? Uh, maybe. That one's open over there. No, it's not. Well. Getting pretty good with those grenades. Better than the grenade launcher in Quake. I never got the hang of that. There we go. This is kind of an odd room, but fine. Oh, these are the ordeals, isn't it? Okay. Ugh. Are we actually that close to fighting Eidolon? Hmm. I have no idea what to expect with him. What he looks like. She didn't kill me. Wait, do my grenades count as hers when they bounce off her? I was like, never mind now. Careful, careful. You're too far. Did I get you? No idea. She shoots like poison, uh, what's it called? Poison crossbow bolts, like Pestilence does. Get you fast on the upkeep, on the uptake there. There we go. Cool death animation. You get like sucked into the floor. They actually kind of remind me of the Fallen Angels from um uh, what's it called? Total Annihil Total Annihilation Kingdoms.
Yeah, I was expecting to be bamboozled, bamboozled by the game there and get shoved into the lava for trying to go around the edge like that. Oh, is that what it does? Okay. Soul key. Hey, we got a key. I think that's like the first key we've gotten in so many levels. Hmm. To the underhauls. Both of these? They lead there. Oh, okay, that was the door. You could have made one of them look a bit different. We're at the boss. Okay, that only took an hour. Or just over an hour. Thank you, game, for restocking me with everything. Much appreciated. Hey, we actually have... Wow! 33... 36 AC. I don't know why you're giving me, um, these. Chaos device. I haven't used any of them. Okay! Well, I suppose we're going to be facing, uh, what's his name? Eidolon now. I'll actually make a actual save before the boss. There we go. And... Hmm. Well, I don't know what to expect from him. I have six... Te uh, what are they called? Icons of defense. Thirteen of these little turret things. Ten of these, but I doubt they will work on him. Fifteen, nine, seventeen... Yeah, fine. Well... Time to buff. Hey, Eidolon, where are you? Sentient crossbow bolt. Wait, do I need to use that to attack him? <laughs> Come on, I got up there before. There we go. Do I have to, like, destroy your pillars or something? No. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Eidolon? Hey, hey, hey. That's pretty cool. Hey, guess what? Fear of my imps. I've been collecting these things for levels. Magic! Oh, I can only use one at a time. Boo! There we go. Blah. Blah. To assume I'm doing damage to him. Oh! Oh no. Blow it up! Uh oh. <laughs> Haven't you ever been told not to, like, eat power sources larger than your own head? Duh. No, don't eat me. Well, 
Well, this is pretty cool. I have a thought. Oh no, my uh, crossbow. My, the uh, crossbow thing is gone. My thought is... Stab you, you're too big. Whoa. Leave me alone. Go away. This is a pretty cool last boss. Eat my grenades! You're just like standing there. Uh oh. I have so many magic items. <laughs> it killed all my imps though. have to destroy these. Or do I just have to hurt you and every now and then one of them gets destroyed? Ugh. Oh, there's a way up there. Okay. I got smoked by his lightning. You got me. That was very instantaneous as well. Wow. Okay then. Let's try that again. Oh, that just destroys our time. So what was happening was these, like you heard him enough, he gets angry, 
raises up that orb which you have to backstab. I like these lightning balls, but I don't think they're displaying properly. I think the um, alpha channel on them isn't working. They have like, it looks like they have like a black box around them. Let's see. Yeah, they got a black box. That was the one I was introduced to a new level of pain. Uh. What's he doing hiding in there anyway? I must say, I was expecting a mage. But this is fine. It's actually better, because a mage would... We've already fought a mage. Actually, come to think of it, out of all, the, all of them, Desperal was the only, like, humanoid one. Because, uh, what's his name? Korax? Actually looked, uh, like a big, like, spiky lizard guy. I don't know how I'm getting critical hit backstabs on this thing, but... Might be best for me to just chuck things at it. Oh, I see. All the pillars just broke at, at a point, so... It's not like they were getting destroyed over the course of the battle. They just all broke when this thing came out. There we go. Oh, you're upset. Uh, I am invisible. Might have seen me. That stuff chews through ammunition like nothing else. Dead yet. Not that I'm really wanting the fight to be over, this is quite fun. Ugh. my grenades. Ugh. Nope. I'm invisible.
Do I have to go up here? I'm in control of what? There's nothing there. Wow. Okay, he just decided to kill me there. That was a sudden. Okay, well, we Let's try it again. I wish he had like a health meter. That would help. I'd know whether I'm doing damage to him or not. Hitting yourself. Wow. I like that he roars in victory when you die. It is neat. Sure, just walk through that. Oh. Oh, I see. He destroyed the, um thingy when that happens. Are you supposed to use the ballista to like shoot him or something? It seems awkward. An option, I suppose, but... Broke your thingy! Oop. Oh, that did hurt.
give me some room. Got to fill in with as much ammunition as we can. Don't mind me, I'll just stand in my own nuke grenade. Nobody. I don't know if I can actually reflect his, uh... I mean, by all accounts, I'm hurting him. Hey! That's good. Splat! I went up level 12! Hey! I was actually worried for a moment there. I was like, uh, am I actually hurting him? With the destruction of Eidolon and his four dark generals, Therian is once again free from the darkness that had enshrouded it. As the news of Eidolon's defeat spreads like wildfire throughout the land, the many cries of victory rise from millions of light lips. Narrowly, we have avoided genocide. A winner is me! And it got a neat screen of... I don't know who that's supposed to be. Yay! I was worried for a moment there. It's hard to tell when you actually did damage to the bosses. Given time, our nation shall grow strong again, and our people shall prosper. Once the last vestiges of Eidolon's foul machinations and troops are swept from Therian, the world shall return to normal. Even now, our most powerful magicians are weaving spells to forever entrap the root of the Serpent Rider's power. The remains of the Chaos Sphere for if even mere shards of the Chaos Sphere still exist, so does deadly evil. Fortunately, its masters have all been destroyed, and so the final chapter is written in the Chronicle of Deeds. It is with a light heart that I set down my quill and close the tome that lies before me. We didn't actually see any serpents in this game. There was green serpents and brown serpents in the previous game. Uh oh, foreboding. But with the fall of Eidolon, there is nothing left to fear. And I'm being so definite. 
a core silo. Oops. Maybe that's just his, like, manservant or his golem or something. I don't know. He knows who that is. <laughs> it's his buddy. <laughs> I've brought tea, master. Oh, thank you. I just finished writing this book. Yes. Anyway, I wonder if that's the character which appears in a... Uh... There is Heretic 2, which I know extremely little about, other than it exists. Um... But it's not on GOG, it's not on Steam, from what I understand. Because I think it was made... After Raven Software, the company which made this, parted from working with id Software. So they might have had to have made their own engine for it, or something like that. Anyway. Oh yeah, that is uh, Hexen 2. That was pretty good. Overall, um, as a Quake game, hmm, hmm, there was a nice variety of enemies. Each hub sort of had its own selection of enemies. It did get a little weak. Oh, we disconnected. How lovely! Right at the end there. Uh, at least it waited until after. How, how, how delightful. Can I get it to connect again? Come on. I don't know how any of this works. Oh. Oh well, anyway, uh, yeah. uh oh, uh, at least it waited until the end, there we go, and we're back, yep, we're back, sorry about that, uh, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, don't know what causes it, anyway, where was I, oh yeah, uh, there is Heretic 2, but, I don't think there's any way to get a copy of that unless you get a physical copy. Or, you know... <laughs> Yo ho ho, but... Anyway, um... Uh, thought of Hexen 2. I don't think... It's not as good as a game as Quake. That much is obvious. Um... The level design, for the most part... It wasn't terribly labyrinthine. Uh, I assume because it was in 3D, they had to make the levels smaller. So they weren't as sort of... I don't think the theming was as great as in Hexen. Um, the levels in Hexen actually got pretty good towards the end, I thought. Uh, environmental design-wise. The last level in this I actually thought was uh, one of the best out of all of them. I don't... I didn't like the fourth hub, really. The uh, Septimus, or the Rome XP1. Most, I think it was mostly just because the textures of the walls all looked the same. I might have mentioned that earlier. Um, but the puzzles in that one was fine. For the most part, the puzzles were fine. It was just find objects, use the one other thing. Um, I think the puzzles were the most complex in the first hub, where it was find note. Note tells you to get, you know, to get shovel, dig up thing in location, which apparently can be randomised. I don't know if there was any randomised stuff in the later hubs. Um, that would kind of make sense if this game had a shareware version. You have all this interesting stuff at the beginning to entice people to buy the full version. I don't know if shareware was still a thing when this game came out, though. Um, the, the enemy variety was pretty good. Um, they at least had some unique enemies per hub. Again, I think the fourth hub missed out on that a fair bit. I Was there any unique enemies in the fourth hub? Mostly just skeleton archers. Spiders. Oh, there was the Medusa. 
That's it, or the Gorgons, that's what I was calling them. Um, they were a new enemy. They didn't show up too often, which is kind of good, because they were a bit annoying. Um, they actually had two different attacks. They had, like, homing bolts, which were very annoying. They chased me down hallways and around corners. And they had, like, a paralyzation gaze, which they could hit you with. Which was interesting, but I only got hit by that once, because, you know, I tend to stay away from the enemies. Hitting them from around corners with my grenades. Um, the Jaguar Warriors in the second hub were pretty good. Um, with them leaping towards you. Uh, Golems were a recurring enemy. Different types of them mixed things up a bit more. Uh, the Skeleton Archers... They were fine. I had one gripe with them, it's that their bolt, the shots they fired were a bit difficult to see. It would be nice if they had some glow around them, or, you know, even if it's just like a, you know, a sprite glow around the bolt to make them stand out a bit more. Or, in, if in an enhanced version of Hexen 2, they could have, uh, what's it called? Like, lighting on them, as they, so they light up the hall as they travel along. Maybe if they moved a bit slower. The um, Horshark versions of them ended up replacing the basic skeleton archers for the most part because they were tougher, I assume. Uh, anything else? Uh, there was too many spiders. I think the spiders were overused. Uh, sure. They're fast-moving melee units, but I think they could have made a few different things other than just spiders. They were, it's not that they weren't massively annoying to deal with. It was just like, oh, great, more well, spiders. Um, the uh, third hub, the Egyptian one, had uh, scorpions at least, which mixed things up, but they were basically spiders in different guise. Um, the imps were interesting, though they didn't actually get used that often. Not as much as I'd thought. The uh, numbers of enemies from Heretic to Hexen to Hexen 2 went down quite a bit. Understandable in Hexen 2 because the, uh, what's it called? It's a 3D environment. You can't have as many 3D models as you killed 2D sprites in Heretic. In Hexen, I suppose it was because the weapon weapon uh, loadout was different and it wasn't really as geared towards dealing with large numbers of enemies as it was in Heretic um, where you had like a rocket launcher and you could overcharge things with the Tome of Power I'm glad the Tome of Power was brought back that was very fun it essentially makes all of your weapons have an alternate fire for a period of time which mixes things up quite a lot um, Pity it doesn't do anything for, for the Katars though or if it does, I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it does. Um, the classes... There's a bit more to them in this one than there is in, this, in the Hexen 1. The leveling system felt a bit unnecessary. Katars have a chance of lifesteal, I think. Oh, okay, so they do have an effect. I never really used the melee. For the most part, I didn't want to be into melee with the enemies. I did try it, and hiding in shadows. The abilities for the assassin don't really make sense. Hide in shadows, okay, I can go invisible after a period of time, so it was kind of useless at the beginning of the game, where I was relying on the, Katar on the Katars the most. But even when I go invisible, the enemies still know where I am and shoot at me, and I have to stand still for it to stay active, so once you get detected, it's useless. And enemies don't patrol, so there's no chance of ambushing them. Um, backstab. I hit enemies in the back occasionally, but I think I could hit enemies with a backstab even when I was hitting them from the front. It felt like a random chance for a critical hit sometimes, rather than a backstab. Um, but, uh, I think I actually killed one of the bosses using backstabs. Might have been Famine. Or I was attacking him with backstabs because it was slow and he didn't turn around quickly. That's the big problem with things like this, if you're doing backstabs. The enemies have to s turn slower if you want to your want your player to... If you're expecting your player to try backstab them. 
Because if they just spin around and shoot at you all the time, then you're just going to be like, I can't be bothered being in melee with them. I'm just going to back up <laughs> or down the hallway and toss grenades at them. The grenades were a lot of fun. Uh, they replaced basically the crossbow and all the other weapons. The uh, ultimate weapon, Scarab Staff. It was neat. It used up an awful lot of ammunition though. Um, it felt like overkill for enemies, for most of the enemies, and for the few bosses I would use it on. If I used it, it meant I would run out of mana and I'd have to use a, uh, what's it called, Crater of Might to be able to get my mana back. Um, it felt a bit weird too. It's kind of like the base fire of it is like a rocket launcher, but I think the shots pass through enemies. And I don't know whether that deals damage to them. The explosion when they hit the surface appears, appears did dealt damage, but I don't know whether passing through the enemies did. The overcast, the the um tome power shot of it was pretty cool. It had a scarab which hunts down the enemy and uh, what's it do? It like burrows into them and makes them explode or something like that if it manages to kill them. That was pretty cool, but I only saw that once. Um. Anything else? No, not really. I don't think so. I enjoyed the playthrough. Um, I mean, you sure? I think when it came out, it kind of got a bit medi mediocre reviews, and I kind of have to agree with that. The leveling system was interesting, but it didn't really do too much. It seemed kind of unnecessary. It didn't change my stats. It gave me more health per level, and more mana per level, which was nice. But at the same time, that just meant mana was a problem early on. And I was dying early late, early on, because I started with like 66 hit points max. And by the end of the game, I think I got up to like 136. So, I mean, I assume the Assassin has one of the lowest hit points out of the classes. Possibly the lowest is the Necromancer. There is other three classes that that mixes things up. Uh, there's the Crusader, the Paladin, the Necromancer, and the Assassin. They each have their own abilities too. Perhaps the abilities of the other classes are more useful. Let's actually have a look at that. Uh, Exxon 2 classes. Okay, uh, here we go. The Crusader's weapons are a Warhammer, an Ice Mace, a Meteor Staff, and the Lightbringer. The Paladins are Gauntlets, Vorpal Sword, Axe, and the Purifier. The Necromancer's weapons are Sickle, Magic Missiles, Bone Shards, and Raven Staff. And it doesn't actually list their special abilities here. Let's have a look. Uh, abilities. The Crusader's first ability is Revivification. Revivif 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 Oh dear, <laughs> I can't say that. Revivification. I'm a I'm a natural speaker of um, English, and that is <laughs> annoying to sp pronounce it. I would be able to pronounce it if I heard it pronounced, but revivification. <laughs> While fighting and killing his enemies, the Crusader will occasionally heal small amounts of his health. This ability is useful to keep him going for longer without relying on health items. That's useful. Holy Strength. This is level 6. When the Crusader slays an enemy, there is a chance for an orb of Holy Strength to appear. This orb represents the defeated foe's vitality and power, and the Crusader can add them to his own by picking up the orb. This makes him slightly stronger for a short period of time. A message is displayed to warn the player when Holy Might is about to wear off. Holy Might orbs should be picked up quickly because they lose their potency with time. That's very interesting. I like the sound of that a lot, actually. Let's see, the Paladins. Uh, the Paladins is... First one is free action. Kravnos has an affinity for water. <laughs> Therefore, he has chosen his chosen champion, the Paladin, can acquire this ability, which allows him to move faster underwater than any of the other classes. This ability also allows the hero to stay underwater indefinitely without drowning. Sounds interesting, but water wasn't a big factor in the game. And also, you end up with the ring of uh, water breathing, so 
it doesn't matter how long you stay on the water. And I never ran out of those rings <laughs> when I needed to go on the water. The game tended to give you one before you had to, so. And divine intervention. Should the paladin fall in battle, there is a chance for him to instantly be brought back to life, powered up and invulnerable, so that he can punish the ones who tried to kill him. This ability will spawn the paladin back at level start. I was up to that until that last part. It sounded cool until it said it teleported you back to the level start. That sounds... Okay, so you get powered up, you get life back and invulnerable. But then you're in an area where there's no enemies. And you have to run all the way back. Yeah. No. It sounded good, as I said, it sounded good up until that last bit. And the necromancers. He has soul gathering. Sometimes when the necromancer slays an enemy, an eerie red orb will appear. This soul sphere represents the life force and vitality of the defeated foe, and the necromancer can gain a little health and sometimes mana by picking up these orbs, replenishing himself after combat. Soul spheres lose their potency and expire after a while, so they should be picked up quickly. That sounds useful, but at the same time, the necromancer, I would assume, has rather low health, so you're probably going to be staying out of combat until uh, out of melee range. Or out, you know, away from where the enemies are dying until they're all dead. So you're probably not going to be collecting too many full strength soul spheres that way. Maybe if they moved, chased, chased, maybe if the orbs moved towards you or you had a large pickup range, that would work a bit better. Vampiric Drain. While hitting enemies with his sickle, the necromancer will occasionally steal a little of their life force, adding it to his own health. A specific sound is heard when this happens. This ability also helps the necromancer survive while using a demeanor weapon. Eh, whoopee. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be using your sickles that often. If, the, if it's anything like the katars, you're not going to be using them against many enemies because it's just like, uh, 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 uh. And you're like, why am I smacking you with this thing when I could be killing you much faster with my ranged weapons? Um, maybe if that applied to all of your weapons, that would be more useful. So it's just like, whenever you hit the enemy, sometimes you can gain health. That'd be nice. Uh, what are these actual weapons? Magic missiles. Spell rather than a weapon shoots a magic projectile in a rapid succession. When it's powered up by tone power, three projectiles are produced, each of which does more damage and can home in on the enemy. Okay. And bone shards. Fires out fast moving bone fragments that break upon impact and do blast damage as well. Powered up by a turn power, the spell concentrates a single blast on the target with increased blast damage. That's pretty cool. And Raven's Staff. Three spinning missiles. Uh, powered up. It fires three ravens that attack the targets for five seconds. Similar attack for the Pari for Pariah's Wraith Verge, the cleric from Hexen. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I'd have expected something which, like, summons a skeleton, since he's a necromancer, but... Eh. Okay, well, that's enough of that. So, yeah, that is uh, Hexen 2. And my thoughts about it, whether you want them or not. Uh, I've played through all Hexen, Heretic, and Heretic 2 now. There is expansions for this, I think. Uh, there's like... Oh, what is it? Let me see. Do I have them on Steam? I think so. Uh, no. Does it come with them? Let's have a look on Steam page. Uh, don't know whether it comes with it or not. doesn't actually seem like it comes with it on Steam, so I don't know if I actually have the extra levels. Oh well, I don't know if I'd play them anyway. Um, I don't think I played the expansion for Hexen. Oh no, I did! Because that was the return trip. So. What are the expansions for Hexen 2? I think that's two expansions. Uh, let's see, mission pack. Portal of Pravis. 
consists of two new hubs, new enemies, and a new character class. That's actually kind of a neat expansion, rather than just more new levels as it was with Hexen. Okay, okay. What's the new uh, character? Oh, the Demoness. Bloodfire, Acid Rune, Firestorm, Tempest Staff, and Demon Glide and Masochistic Manor. <laughs> okay. Looks about what I'd expect, apart from the legs. I wasn't expecting the legs. Uh, here. Oh! <laughs> the in-game model. It's bright red. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, there. Oh. Oh, where are you? Come on. Don't hide from me. Remove it. Yep. And bring it back. Oh, pfft. Ugh. Harder of this. Let me try once more. Oh, you're just going to disappear. Okay, fine. Whatever. You saw it briefly, anyway. Oh, yeah. You can freeze frame on that if you want. Uh, apparently something created by Eidolon. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Difficulty levels lava, spawn, fiend, and she bitch. <laughs> I like the final weapon of the Crusader. Yeah. Okay. That is. And the third weapon of the Necromancer, the bone shards. Yeah, that sounded neat. Uh, let's have a look. What's the, what's the last weapon for the uh, Crusader? Lightbringer. Emits beams of light, which also bounce off objects and do reflective damage. When powered up, more damage is done and there are two other beams emitted. That's pretty cool. Sounds like it would be a great room cleaner. Paladin's sword also works without mana. The, uh... Yeah, what was it called? I forget. Anyway. Yeah, I like it if the, ra if the sort of sword weapons work even without mana. Because it's like, well, it still looks like a massive sword. <laughs> You think you could smack something over the head with it, even if you don't have mana. Anyway, that will be it for Hexen 2, and the last of my thoughts. So, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again next time for... I don't actually know what. Hmm. Maybe I'll get started on Dungeon Keeper 2. Because I have got that up oh, and running, and I would like to play that. So, we might do that. We'll see. Anyway, I'll stop the recording here.